All right guys, so here's the review of the Sugairs 38mm hand wind mechanical watch. If you've watched my other videos, you've probably seen this one before. It actually came up in the AliExpress recommendations video that I did pretty recently. I hadn't had it that long at that point, but I was so impressed with it, I just had to include it in that video. So, finally getting around to doing the full review now. If you haven't seen that video, by the way, just check it out up here. I'll leave a link for it. Because I also compare it to another similar watch that I already have. Another Suggez one, another handwire mechanical one, but with bigger dimensions and a different dial. So I'll leave a link for that up here as well. If you want to check that one out, in case you want a slightly bigger watch. And 38mm is in for you. But as for this one, so this is the box it comes in. I was a little bit surprised with this actually, because it's not the same kind of box as I've had with previous Suggez watches. Instead we've just got this star and then the mechanical. No Suggez branded on it at all, which is interesting. So if we open it up, first thing we're greeted with is this warranty card, which has got the 1963, which is obviously in relation to the Seagull 1963. But as you can see, we've not actually got anything written on there, no date or anything. So that's not really going to be a lot good. Also, interestingly, this came in the box as well, which is quite nice. Just telling you the functionality of the watch, what to not do and what to do. Nice little touch. And then they've got it in Chinese on the back as well. But we're not really interested in all that. So let's get right down to the watch. So here it is. And as you can see, it really is a beautiful looking watch. I do really, really like this one. I've been wearing it quite a bit. And you can probably see straight away as well. We've actually got a nice bit of AR coating on that domed crystal. Which is always a good sign of quality. Not a great deal of it. But there's a little bit there. Which is nice. Because you don't always get that on AliExpress watches. So it's a good start. So... The main reason I picked this one up is because of this beautiful dial. So as you can see we've got two sub dials on this, we've got the one at the 3 and the one at the 9. The one at the 3 is the minute one for the chronograph and then as you can see the one at the 9 is the ticking seconds. So the big hand pointing up at the 12 at the moment with the red tip, that is your chrono hand. So I'll quickly show you that in action now. So obviously you press this top pusher once. That engages it, so then that starts sweeping around. Then we've got that nice star counterbalance on the end as well, which is a nice touch. And like I say, got that red tip going with the tachymeter red text at the top as well. So nice bit of design there, all comes together. And then obviously, if you press it again, it stops. Press this bottom one, and then we've got the snapback. So not a flyback, just a snapback one. But works well, lines up nicely. As for the rest of the dial, that's all really nicely done too. So as you can see, we've got the Suggez brand at the top, along with the chronograph. And then we've got mechanical hand wind at the bottom. Not overly cluttered, not too big, just right I think. So we just take a closer look at this dial, zoom in. So as you can see, got applied indices including the 12 and the 6 just batons for the rest and then I don't know if you can make this out but we have actually got a little bit of loom little loom dots at the end of those batons so we'll check that out in a bit when we do the loom shot that's a nice little touch because I didn't actually notice that when I first got the watch I wasn't really expecting any loom other than the hands because this kind of style watch, you don't really expect Loom to be honest. Any is just a bonus. But I'll see if I can get this to pick up as well. I think, I mentioned this in the other video, I'm fairly sure this dial is actually slightly curved. If you just look at the edges, it does curve down slightly. Which is similar to a Dan Henry that I actually have. I'll leave a link up here for that one, if you haven't seen that. But I think it is similarly done to that, with a slightly curved... Dial. 
which is a really nice touch. So getting onto the rest of the watch, we've got a fairly simple case, fully polished, no brushing. We've actually got a nice sign crown though, which is good. I do like that. And then we've got this fairly nice leather strap as well. Nice and soft, nice and flexible. Stitching's done well, genuine leather. Got a polished buckle as well, unsigned. Now for the main reason you're probably going to pick up this watch. Let's take a look at this movement. In fact, before we do, let's quickly go over the texture on the outside. So as you can see, it says chronograph, mechanical. The fact that it's an ST1901, which is what that movement is. 50 meters water resistance. 316 mil stainless steel. The usual. Oh, and actually as well, we have actually got a quick release on this strap if you do want to check it, uh, change it, sorry. Which is always a nice touch. But let's have a look at that movement in more detail. So, really is a nice looking movement, I think. Got those blued screws. And I just, I love the detail in it. I love the fact that you can see it all, the fact there's no rotor in the way. It's always a bonus with these hand wind watches. You just get to see more of that lovely movement. And I've actually got a few watches with this movement in now. Not had any issues with any of them. They're all working perfectly still, and I absolutely love them. Some people say they look a little bit like a toy. I'm, I'm not really of that opinion. I, I think they look good, especially given the price point as well. Obviously, they're not going to be rivaling like top brand Swiss ones, but you can't expect that at this kind of price. But I think they look really good and work really well. So let's flick it around and let's check out the measurements on this. So, although it says 38mm on the listing, I'm actually getting it more like 37.5. So, actually fractionally smaller than I was expecting as well. And then we've got a thickness of 13.5 at the top of that slightly down crystal. And then we've got an 18mm lug width and a lug to lug of 47mm. So, really nice slim dimensions overall. So... You don't always get that with a lot of AliExpress watches. A lot of them now tend to be on the larger side. So it's always nice when smaller ones pop up. Because I do think 38 is a really nice size for a lot of people. Especially if you've got slightly smaller than average wrists. So let's check whether we've got sapphire crystal on this then. Using the trusty diamond selector too. So, as you can see, yep, we've got Sapphire Crystal. Let's quickly check out the back. And unfortunately the back, it isn't. But, you don't tend to get that on the back of a lot of these watches. So, not really a massive deal. Would have been nice to have it. But, not a deal breaker. So now, let's check out that loom. So, as you can see, got a little bit there already, but let's charge it up, give it a proper chance. And there we go. As you can see, those little pips at the end of the indices actually glowing quite nicely. So, nice surprise that. Wasn't really expecting any decent kind of loom on this at all, to be honest. But I've actually been pleasantly surprised. Obviously it's not the brightest, but given the amount of surface area they're playing with, it's pretty good. I also like that there's loom on the counterbalance on the chrono hand as well. It's a nice touch on that star. So, 
Not too bad, given the style of watch. I actually think that's decent. Obviously, it's not going to be brilliant, but given the surface area and the style of watch, not a deal breaker by any means. If anything, just a nice bonus. So, all that's left to do now is show it your wrist. So, this is what it looks like on my 7 inch wrist. I really do like this one a lot. I just love that vintage kind of look. I just think it looks great. I do like the colour of the dial as well. The fact that it's not perfectly white. Like a, God, I don't know what I'd call it really. Like a parchment kind of colour, I guess. Or like a creamy kind of colour. But it's got a slight shimmer to it as well. And it really does look nice. Just love the overall design. I think it looks great. And like I say, this leather strap that comes with it is actually really comfortable as well. I think it complements the watch nicely. Stitching's done well. And just overall a really nice piece. With a nice size as well, about 38mm. Or, as I measured it, 37.5. So if you've got slightly smaller than average wrists, this is a good one for you. I'd definitely recommend it. Well, I already did in my AliExpress sale video, but I'm recommending it again after this full review. Not any issues with it at all. Nothing come up. So, if you like the look of this, I definitely recommend picking it up. Please consider using my link in the description. It's an affiliate link, will help support the channel. Help me do more videos in the future. So, that's pretty much it guys. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.